Passengers aboard the doomed South Korean ferry could not board lifeboats because the vessel had already listed too much, a crew member on the ship said, according to a radio transcript released Sunday. The dramatic conversation that took place while the Suwol ferry was sinking last Wednesday was released by the search mission's Joint Task Force. Here's an exchange between an unidentified crew member of the Suwol and the Jindo Vehicle Traffic Service. Suwol, our ship is listing and may fall. Jindo VTS, how are the passengers doing? Dot. Suwol, it's too listed that they are not able to move. A short time later, another exchange took place. Jindo VTS, are the passengers able to escape? Suwol, the ship listed too much so it is impossible. The transcripts may help answer one of the major questions about the capsizing, why didn't passengers escape on lifeboats? At least 58 people have died in the sinking, and 244 are missing, the South Korean Coast Guard said Sunday. Search crews brought more than a dozen bodies to shore Sunday morning, a solemn process pierced by the deafening screams and cries from the passengers' families. The wrenching scene came after four police boats arrived in rapid succession. The first carried four bodies. The second boat had three more. The third and fourth also carried three bodies each. Each body was taken onto a stretcher on the dock in Jindo, draped in cloth. After an inspection, they were carried along a path guarded by police, who were also shedding tears, and passed grieving family members some relatives refuse to accept the outcome. Wake up! Wake up! Please! One man screamed. With hundreds of people still missing after the ferry sank Wednesday, the heartbreaking scene will likely play out over and over again. Although 174 people were rescued shortly after the vessel sank Wednesday, no survivors have been found since. Nonetheless, 563 divers will continue plunging into the frigid Yellow Sea on Sunday. And 34 aircraft and 204 ships will aid in the search Sunday, the country's Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries said. As they wait, relatives of the missing were asked to submit DNA samples.